Hello friends. Welcome back to my another video tutorials, my name is Anuj Tube, founder of Stream Film Production. In last video, we learn about, how to design business card, now we are going to learn about, how to design letterhead and folder in Illustrator. So let's start the video. Go to print option. Rename your project title. Then change measurement unit as millimeter. Take a width 210 millimeters and height 297 millimeters. And take a bleed area 3 millimeters. Keep in mind, when we create safe zone, that time also we take minus 3 mm. Then select color mode is CMYK mode, and resolution 300 dpi. And click on create. Now create a safe zone, select rectangular tool, and create a shape, take width 210 mm and height 297 mm. Then align it to center of artboard. Go to object and click on path, and select offset path, and set offset path value minus 3 mm, and click OK. Select path, click right click of mouse, and select make as guide, then select another path and make guide. Now create a background, select rectangular shape tool, create a shape, take width 210 mm and height 297 mm, and click OK. Then align it to center of artboard. Then place your logo here. Decrease the size of logo by pressing shift plus left key of mouse, and move up to mouse cursor. And align it to horizontally to the center, and adjust according to your suite. Now go to swatches for change logo color and select fill color by double click on it, then past color code which is given in description. Now select type tool, type company name, select font nexa, and font size 18 pixel, Then align to horizontally to the artboard, press down arrow key for move down. Press alt key, make duplicate of the company, name. And double click. Go to character, and select font lotto black. And rename the to your tagline here. Then align it horizontally to the artboard, and move up by using arrow up key. Select logo, company name, and tagline, and press shift plus alt key, and move mouse up to decrease the size. Press control plus key to zoom, select rectangular tools, and create a shape like me. Turn off stroke and fill color, go to swatches, and click on fill color. Paste color code. Now select direct selection tool, and select the circle, and make height round bath side. Press control, key to zoom out artboard. Now select shape, and press alt plus mouse right click, and duplicate it another side. Go to the rectangular shape tool, and create shape here. Now select direct selection tool, and select left side up corner, 
and right side up corner, and drag mouse down to make corner round. Take text tool, and click here and select area, where letter to be written. Now decrease font size 13 pixel, and paste dummy letter here. Press left arrow key and adjust. Press Ctrl plus a key to select all text, and font to lotto bold. Now headline some text as I am doing and your choice. Now we add some dummy contact details, you can search it on Google, otherwise you can assume as you want. Select each one by one and drag it to bottom. Select each details, and decrease font size to 10 pixel. Adjust all by using arrow keys. And match each according to smart guide tools. Now select logo, press alt, and mouse left click, drag down to make duplicate, align it to center of artboard, press shift plus alt key increase the size of logo, click right click and arrange to backward to text. Go to transparency and set opacity to 26% And go to swatches and set fill color dark gray Now it's like watermark Here are letterhead ready Now we are going to create folder design using same pattern Create new project Go to print option, rename project name as presentation folder. Change unit to millimeter, take width 210 millimeter and height 297 millimeter. Take bleed area 3 millimeter. Color mode CMYK and resolution 300 dpi and click on create. Now create a safe zone. Select rectangular tool and create a shape. Take width 210 millimeters and height 297 millimeters. Then align it to center of artboard. Go to object and click on path and select offset path and set offset path value minus 3 mm and click OK. Select path, click right click of mouse and select make as guide, then select another path and make guide.
Now select rectangular shape, and create background with same width and height. Go to swatches, and select fill color, and pass color code, and click OK. Fill stroke value to none. Copy and place your logo here, align to center of artboard. Select logo and adjust little upside. Now go to swatches and select fill color and pass color code, click OK. Press Shift plus Alt key and drag down mouse to increase size of logo. Take a text tools. Go to character and select font next to black. And font size 48 pixel. Type your company name. Go to swatches, select fill color and past color code, click OK. Align horizontally to artboard, and press down arrow key to move down. Click on company name and press alt key, drag down to make duplicate. Go to character, and change font to lotto black. Rename it to your tagline here. Change font size to 36 pixel. Align horizontally to artboard. Use arrow key to adjust logo, company name, and tagline. Select logo, company name, and tagline. Press Shift plus Alt key, and drag mouse up to decrease size. Copy and place your contact details here. Use arrow key to adjust or move down. Go to Swatches, and click on Fill Color, and Pass Color Code, and click OK. Align Contact Details. Select each details, and go to paragraph and align text to center. Here is our final result. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon. In next video we learn how to use mockup for branding design.